Hi there, welcome to Musical Yours. I'm Dear Jamal Lehe, introducing Canadian talent. On today's episode, we've got Signa Miranda, an artist, a singer-songwriter whom I met at a La Music Circle. Welcome to the show, Signa. Thank you so much, Deirdre. I love your voice. It's pure, it's crystal clear. And uh, when I heard you that you've got original material, I thought, here's a girl I need to have on the show. You know, we need to showcase talent like yourself. Now, tell me about your upbringing. Was it a musical or you just, you know, started off that way? Well, my mother put me in piano lessons when I was six years old and I did 12 years of the conservatory and when I was a teenager I really got into playing guitar and that's where I could branch out and play around and, and make up songs. Yeah, but, but who were your early influences? You know, whom did you listen to growing up? Uh, well, I think it was Brian Adams and Blue Rodeo that influenced me the most to get into songwriting. Yeah, and you got to interview one of them as well, but we'll talk about it later. Yes. Tell me about uh, your genre. What genre can I, because I was listening to your music and it was hard to pin uh, to any one of them. It, it, there was a mixture, but what's your favorite? Well, I like to play alternative roots rock, and I call it that because it has a little bit of a mix of pop rock, a little bit of pop punk, and a little bit of country mixed in. Yeah, and then uh, talk about uh, all the events you attend in the GTA. That that's a lot, and I see on Facebook. Uh, I I like it. That's how it should be. You know, artists attending all events and interacting with the others. What uh, so? Where have you been so far, and uh, who, what are you looking forward to for the rest of the GTA music events? Well, I like to go to music and speaking events, and I've kind of branched out a little bit. I've, I go to a lot of open stages, I go to a lot of concerts, I do sound, that's what my day job is right now. And uh, I just got into going to speakers events, this thing called Mo Mondays. I've been speaking at those in Niagara and in Kitchener-Waterloo and also in Toronto. Oh, we, we got lots to talk about. <laughs> lots to talk. So what's the first song we're going to listen to? All along. Yes. All along, right? So yes. all along we've been wanting to listen and watch <laughs> Signa Miranda on Musical.ly Yours right now. We sit on your sofa I sure can't explain Maybe we're more than friends I realize the trends now that I love you. Now that I love you, I've been waiting for days. I've been waiting for years to hear you call my name. You tell me you love me the same as I love you. Is I love you. I can't say that I knew all along. It took me so long to sing you the song to let you know. It took me so long to sing you the song to let you know
welcome back to Musical Yours. Uh, that was Signa Miranda. Now, Signa, I know you were uh, topping the charts. Well, exactly mentioned in a German internet-based radio station, right? In, yes. In, so tell us about that. I mean, I, I think that's um, amazing because you are this Canadian artist from Belleville. Yes. And there you are in the world scene. So talk to me about that one. Yeah, actually, that one surprised me quite a bit. I, I didn't even remember sending anything to them. I think this guy who runs NBT Music... This, this German radio station, he looks for music from all around the world and plays it and he's really into independent music. Yeah, and then you also got an honorable mention in 2010 uh, in a songwriter uh, competition. Yes. And I think that's amazing as well. So why are you keeping all this hiding from all of us? <laughs> well, I'm always entering contests and I'm entering, a, I've entered a singing competition and I enter songwriting contests all the time. Yeah, and what do you think about uh, Le Musique Circle? Oh, I love it. It's really great what you're doing to promote the local music scene. Yeah, a and what else, uh, I, you know, r the networking? Did you meet people? Uh, did you make connections there? I did. For future uh, collaborations? Yes, I met some other songwriters I hadn't met before, and there are a lot of youth performing who are going to be the next generation of, of songwriters and, and, you know, spreading their music around the world. Now, speaking of uh, collaborations, you do have a band. Yes. And where are they today? <laughs> <laughs> all working, right? They all have to earn a living. But yes. tell us about the band members and what do they play and how do you come about it? Okay. Well, Brian Alossary, we've been playing together for, for several years. And, uh, well, he produced our last album, September Night. And he's been playing lead guitar and singing in the band. And this time we're working with a producer outside of the band. And his friend Peter Nunn came in and he's playing keyboards. And we've got Shamaka Ali on drums and Rob, and uh, we've got Rob on bass, Rob yeah. Brown. And uh, so we we're going into the studio and working with a producer who's not in the band. Greg Godovitz is producing our next single. Very cool, very cool. So I, I, I think I'll be one of the first to listen to it, right, when the time yes. comes. So, and uh, do you, uh, you know, go online and check for gigs as well as a band, you know? Yes, I'm always looking for new venues to play, especially yeah. when I'm going on tour. Yeah. So what's the next song? I'm going to play To the Sky. To the Sky. To the Sky. This is Signa Miranda reaching out to the stars on Musical Yours. Take me up to the sky with you Take me up to the mountains too I could spend my whole life with you Is there anything I would ask of you? Is there anything you would want me to? There is nothing that makes me happier than being with you Nothing makes me sadder than leaving you There's nothing makes me smile more than seeing you Nothing makes my eyes weep more than watching you walk away Is there anything I could do but stare? to the sky with you take me up to the mountains too I could spend my whole life with you is love supposed to keep us strong is it faith to guide our love along I believe that somehow you find your way back to me you can't stay away forever when it's meant to be the way that you at me when you walked away is the key you said you'd always love me well you see that you'll take me up to the sky with you take me up to the mountains too i could spend my whole life with you
that was Signa Miranda on Musically Yours. Now, Signa, I know you have two albums out there, and uh, what are they? One of them is called Love Wins, and that's an acoustic folk solo album. And the other album is September Night, and that's with my band, Signa Miranda's Veranda. Yeah, and then let's talk about your book. I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. The Song Creation Formula, Seven Easy Steps to Writing Your Song. Uh, so wha how, how come you, you know, came up with this idea to write a book? Well, I've been teaching songwriting workshops for a couple of years, and I wanted to be able to share the joy of songwriting with as many people as I could. And not that many people can come to songwriting workshops in Toronto. And it, it was a way for me to put a formula for people to get started. If they have no idea where to start with a song, they can go through these steps and start a song. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have interviewed very, very influential Canadian songwriters. Yes. And uh, who are they? I mean, before they go and purchase the book. Oh, by the way, where is it available? It's available at Long and McQuaid on Music Books Plus and Sonic Boom in Toronto and a couple of other places. Okay, so getting back to these uh, Canadian songwriters, how was the interviews like? That would have been <laughs> you know, an amazing experience on its own, right? It was really exciting. I made a list of some of my favorite songwriters and I started contacting them. And I got to interview Jim Cuddy from Blue Rodeo. That's my favorite band. I got to interview Luke Doucette from White Horse and Greg Norrie from Treble Charger. Yeah, and then also I think uh, I, I, meeting these people and getting all those tips on songwriting because yes. you love songwriting uh, and that's one of the things you love uh, beautiful lyrics and you come out with the best. You know, uh, Signa, I, I wish you all the best and I think uh, Canadian artists like yourself should get uh, to perform on world stages. Uh, at least we should recognize and, and then go to greener pastures, you know. So thank you for being on the show. What's our next song? Oh, our next song is Mission Alone, and that's going to be on the new album, which is called Heart Wave. Okay, so it's never going to be a Mission Alone as such, right? And uh, after Mission Alone, we'll be watching your music video as well. We are speaking to world-renowned vocal coach uh, Paula Griffith, and we're going to talk about exactly what you've been mentioning here and much more. But Signa, we wish you all the very best. Thank you for being on Musical Yours. Thank you so much, Deidre.
That was Signa Miranda with her song Mission Alone. And now I'm on a mission, but never alone, because we've got a world renowned vocal coach with me here, Paula Griffith. We are at Cherry Beach Sound. Thank you so much for arranging everything. You're a beautiful, amazing human being. Oh, thank you, Deidre, for being here well uh, like i said you are so good at what you do you mm -hmm. heard uh, signa miranda what yeah. would your advice be being a vocal coach well i feel like every singer has to start working on their voice every day they have to warm up and uh, she sounded great and i know she has a pure voice but she has to maintain that by doing vocal exercises and yeah. So now, uh, how do people approach you in the first place uh, and ask for advice and, you know, get your vocal coaching? Well, a lot of people have now found me through referral and through friends. And uh, what I usually do is a vocal assessment. So they come here and uh, basically I go through their strengths and their weaknesses. And then we I develop a plan for them for their vocals. So now... Um, like every singer, uh, mm. songwriter whom I meet, they always want to have that perfect vocal range. Yeah. What <coughs> would you uh, advise? Uh, say uh, home exercises. What, mm -hmm. what would what would the most easiest steps be okay. for one to practice at home? There's a few things. You have to make sure that you have proper breath control. And a lot of singers, they push a lot of air into their lungs and their chest. But what you want to do is you want to try and control that. So we do a lot of breath management exercises exercises so I try and do things where you're holding your ribs out and extending and then you're just putting a little bit of air on your vocal cords in order for the sound to come out. How did you start off because I know I think gospel singing. Yes I was a gospel singer as a child and I my mother was a gospel singer and my uh, father's father was a jazz composer so I was always into music and uh, so for me I was always singing and I did classical training and so I did a mix of R&B, jazz, gospel, all of these um, genres and then I did university music courses and then I did a uh, specialist um, at Berkeley College well you vocal be styles. A, a feature congratulations I mean it's Thank too you. much I <laughs> look at your bio and like oh wow <laughs> what a girl but I'm, I'm happy to collaborate with you you oh, know and you. soon you'll be writing on musical yours oh. magazine as well it's going to be a blast yeah uh, now a when uh, most of the time when uh, artists think that they're God-given talent and they misuse it i find yeah. that some misuse it is yeah. there any advice you could look into the camera and tell ladies and gentlemen <laughs> what would it be oh uh, well there's a lot of vocal abuse and what they're doing is they're belting and they're shouting and then they're not taking care of their voice every day a lot of the things they need to do is sleep they need to hydrate their voice and they have to not taken food that's really affecting their voice and creating mucus like milk and and all types of products that you know irritate the voice so if they just have that great vocal health they'll be able to maintain their voice excellent thank you for all the advice uh, Paula no you know I, I look forward to having you on uh, future episodes of musical yours oh. because you're a treasure a thank national you. treasure oh, and with you. your offices in LA New York yes. and uh, Toronto man you're going places but thank I love you. to be there you know uh, thinking that you are there as a big support for me thank and you. the singers the Canadian singer songwriters who are approaching you at this point of time thank we you. thank you for watching Musical Yours. I thank Paula thank and you. Signa Miranda, that beautiful crystal clear voice we hope to hear in the future. So uh, watch us next week at the same time. Bye for now. You, 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 you changed everything.